I want to speak to the whole Occupy Everywhere movement. I think it's so wonderful. And I don't know how many of you read The Progressive, but uh, there's a fellow, that uh, Chris Hedges, who wrote a wonderful article. He's the one who wrote the book, War is the, what, that gives us meaning, or is the force that gives us meaning. Anyhow, in, in here, he points out that just as Martin Luther King, he never held office, but he had this huge movement representing millions of us all over the country. And President Johnson listened to Martin Luther King because he knew what he represented. And as far as I'm concerned, the Democrats and the Republicans, they're both just their branches and chattels and prostitutes to go But if we, without trying to have a third party, but made this move at movement, despite corporate media's efforts to divide and conquer, to pit us against one another, if we could take this movement from all over the country and be a viable force in the next election, even if that meant, meant write-ins, maybe we could actually take our government back, and wouldn't that be a great thing? So that's, that's some of the, the pleas I want to bring to you. And by the way, when they interviewed me for Good Morning America back in 2004, they asked me, well, what is your son that you and protested against the war. And I said, actually, I've asked him, and he talked to his men, and he says, shall I, shall I tell my mama this is well, sure. And they said, no, because she sends us all these care packages. As long as she sends us these cookies and things, she can protest all she wants. And that, by the way, is what we think we're fighting for. So uh, I, just, I just want you to know that we're when we speak out, we're not just speaking out for ourselves. There are a lot of folks in the Army, in the Armed Forces right now, that need a voice. And we have to be their voice. So I'm hoping that this will continue so that we can even start to have church buses come by. Then people will have little trips and the capitalistic uh, part of our government will be uh, overjoyed because Occupy Everywhere is going to make all of us a lot of money. <laughs> I didn't you know that, but I just do think it's very important that this mood, movement, stay a movement, and, and just try to turn things right because I'm so afraid that all of these powers around us who are just suffering you to be here, if there's any doubt that they couldn't snap their fingers and the stormtroopers and be down here and, and kick you all out in a second. I, I have no doubt that they would they would do that. So as long as you've got this power, take advantage of it before they come and just crush you. Okay? Anyhow, I'm all with you and um, I, I, I intend to be coming down here a lot more often. Thank you.